Okay, I thought in um, this particular video we'd have a look at shooting with uh, RAW on the Canon camera and we'll have a look at how to install the uh, Magic Lantern RAW on the Canon uh, 650D and also it'll be similarly installed to the 600D and the 700D as well. Let's have a look at that now. Okay, so Magic Lantern is actually now installed um, and if you scroll through the info buttons there you'll see the Magic Lantern uh, screen comes up there as well, so going into the settings. Now this is the actual Magic Lantern version from last August which you have to install first to, on the 650D to allow it to uh, be installed. But a lot of work's been done since then, um, for example um, if I go into the menus there Although a lot of the standard stuff is, there is, for example, no sound bars in this. If you look at the recording screen, there's no way to actually monitor sound, which is one thing you want. But the other thing is on the raw side of it, the raw recording, um, if you go along, there is an option there for raw recording, but it's um, kind of a bit out of date now. There's done a lot of work on the raw recording side. However, you're going to need to really to install the more up-to-date version to get RAW working properly on this, as well as to get the sound bars, etc. And that's using one of the nightly builds. So once you've done this part of the install, which you have to do first, we're going to now look at updating this so we have the proper RAW recording on it, uh, as well as the sound as well. Let's have a look at that now. So I'm just going to take out the card. Okay, so um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to up, update the uh, Magic Lantern software on the uh, camera and I've just put the SD card into the drive. Let's put that in again. To my drive there, to my card reader. And you can see we've got the uh, stuff on there. You can actually delete the uh, 650D installer on the J drive there because you don't need to use that now. You've done it on the camera once to avoid confusion. So that's having done that, what we're going to do now is up, update to the most recent version or a more recent version. So just go to downloads again and this time we're going to go to uh, nightly builds, come down there and browse nightly builds there. And we're going to select a platform, that's what, what camera it is, and we're going to select here the 650D. You can obviously do the same the printable one for the 600D, it would be the same and for the 700D as well. You have to do the one specific to each camera. So I'm just going to do the 650D, but bear in mind it will be similar to the 600D and the 700D. So 650D there. And you can actually download, what's, what these are is nightly builds, i.e. developers are actually uh, adding tweaks, correcting faults, etc. all the time. And again, there's no warranty given, but uh, so just be a bit careful here, but generally they work well. And you can always check on the forums as well as to what the uh, up-to-date situation is. I mean, I, for example, used, which one did I use last? I think this one um, from the 4th of February, and that, worked, that works fine. So um, I'm just going to, let me just get rid of these here. I'm just going to download the 4th of February one again, and download there. And show a folder. And I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to put it into that Magic Lantern folder we've already had. Now it looks similar to the previous one, but you can tell the it's a more up-to-date one. You can see there by the date. So it's, it's February the 4th. Was it, with the, pre, the original install, which you must do, was August the 3rd. So this February the 4th one is now there. I've got my SD card in the drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract that to the drive there and uh, you can see there where is my this one and EOS digital there so again into the root of the SD card drive and then extract and I'm going to replace the files of the destination because it's going to be updated new ones as well as some new features it's going to install so everything's gone in there and you can look in there Lots of different files gone in, as you can see, including a lot of new raw 
stuff to do with RAW, as well as uh, some sound files as well. So having done that, I'm going to take out the SD card now and put it back into the camera. So I'm just putting the SD card now back in the camera. And I'm just going to start it up again. And by doing that, um, if I check now the, if I come along all the way along to Right at the end where it says help, and we go down to about Magic Lantern. It should show me there the, the version now. You can see it's no longer the August one, it's now the 4th of the 2nd, 2014. So that tells me it's actually just updated. So that's very easy, it just goes back in. And if I go back into the menus there now, for this new version, we've got modules section. Um, which is slightly fuller than the previous one. And um, there's actually a raw uh, recording, which is fine, that will re record um, raw. You'll need to restart the camera again to get that enabled though, um, on these modules. I'm actually gonna use instead the Magic Lantern version, which is MLV underscore record, which gives it a kind of a useful uh, extra in that it can record sound as well, which is great. And um, the MLV play, I'm going to, um, that allows you to do a playback on the screen as well, so I'm going to enable that as well. And with those two enabled now, if I restart the camera, switch it off and on again, um, those should load, but you've just got to watch one other thing, which is this, which is one extra little confusion here. It won't load unless you make sure there's one other feature is enabled. And I come back there, can you see there where it says uh, modules debug, there's an arrow there. Um, disable all modules, well I don't want that to happen. You may want to disable them because you want to use the features without having raw enabled. You want, you want to record in normal, um, uh, normally on the camera without uh, raw so or whatever else. So um, I'm going to make sure that, because I do want them to load, so I'm going to uh, make sure that they're not going to disable. So now when I switch off and start up again, those raw modules will load and I should be able to record then in in raw. So I'm just going to double check that. So if I go in now to my options here and you can see there it says OK for play and OK for recording as well which is great. That means they're actually loaded successfully. OK, not quite there yet. Um, nearly there. So you can see they've loaded uh, correctly there. You still won't be able to record though. If I try and record now, for example, if I come out of that and press record, it's just actually recording as normally. It's not recording in raw there at all. Um, so if I come out of that record there, go back in, you just need to do one more thing, which is to enable the recording, which if you come down now under the movie section, uh, something that wasn't there before is a raw video option, which is handy because it means you can switch it on and off. You can switch between modes. You can have a raw video or normal video without having to go through the whole restart again on the camera. And um, on this here, raw video, um, and you can see it's the MLV one. If it was the normal raw, it would just be raw video, raw. Um, and you can actually edit the settings there. You can see 728, this is the uh, resolution, etc. And I'm gonna change that, because that's a little bit too high for, uh, for the camera. So. I'm going to try 1280 by 720, which is full HD. There's a very fast card on this. It should just about manage that. And the aspect ratio of 16.9. So on the other options, you can pretty well leave them as uh, standard. There is one option, which is the digital, uh, which is the card warm up, which some people say makes a difference. It allows your card to write a little bit faster. So no harm, because these cards are pretty well upset. That's say 64 uh, megabytes. Extra hacks, I think leave that on, and everything else is okay. Now, once you've done that, you will now be able to record in RAW. If I come out of the that screen, you can see now the whole screen changes. Got a lot of different options here at the top. It shows you, it shows you things like the temperature, etc. And here, um, you can see what's happening on the actual memory on the card as it's um, the buffer is filling up. So if I press the record button there now. 
you can see there it starts to tell you at the bottom here what it's doing it's recording and uh, this is now live recording here in RAW and um, well it's the 720p HD look at that now thanks very much for watching hope you found that useful